Alright, welcome back ladies and gentlemen to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host Larry, and today we're going to be talking about how to do a clean uninstall of Discord voice chat on your Windows 10 PC in the event that it's not updating correctly, it's buggy or broken, or maybe you just decided that you don't like it and you'd like to get rid of it and put something else in its place. And removing Discord is a pretty easy process. The first thing you gotta do is just close the program and make sure that it's completely turned off on your system. The easiest way to do that is close it and then hit the little system tray in the lower right hand corner of your desktop. It's this little arrow down here. And if you see the little Discord icon, that means it's still running in the background. Go ahead and right click and quit. After that, travel on over to your window settings and find your apps window. This is where you store things like your current installed software, along with your default applications and so on. And then all the way down here in the D section is Discord. Go ahead and click uninstall, and this should remove the program from your computer. Note that sometimes when this is going that this might be broken if your Discord is having trouble. If that's the case, don't worry. The next step will work just fine. It just means that you definitely have something wrong with your Discord install, and you need to do something in order to fix it. So once it's done being uninstalled, go ahead and close this and find your way to the app data folder. The easiest way to get there is to go down to your search bar in the lower right hand corner and type in percent app data percent and hit enter. Once you hit enter, you should be in your app data roaming folder. We don't want to be in the roaming folder. So up here at the top of your window, just click on the app data folder and then go into your local folder and find the folder labeled Discord. This is where Discord gets installed onto your computer. So if you see any files still inside of this folder, like right here, it says Discord, go ahead and right click it and click delete. Then after that, find your way to your recycling bin and complete the uninstallation process by right clicking and hitting empty recycling bin. So once you've gotten your recycling bin emptied and everything else has been uninstalled, you should be good to re-download Discord and install it on your machine. Sometimes it keeps your login data. I'm not entirely certain where that is stored. I believe it might actually be in your computer's registry, but all the most important files that are preventing you from properly running Discord on your computer will be re-downloaded and reinstalled once you download the installer again. So just click on download for Windows and save it to wherever you like. Yeah, and then once you run the installer, everything should be reinstalled correctly. All your files should be up to date. If you had any buggy files or broken stuff, it should be gone. And then you're free to go around and peruse Discord at your leisure. I actually had a problem with how these little icons were displayed in my Discord server folders, where they were showed as a list instead of in little grids of four icons. So I already know that my Discord is fixed and a lot of my problems have been removed. And sometimes you end up having to do this once in a while. Discord breaks when you update, stuff doesn't get properly updated, it happens. It's a relatively simple and straightforward process. And if you have any questions, go ahead and throw those in the comment section below. I'm always really happy to help in case anything goes wrong. So that'll be it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. This is how you do a clean uninstall and then reinstall of Discord. Just remember, Discord is a login-based service, so all of your stuff that was installed on Discord or downloaded from Discord should automatically reappear for you once you reinstall it. None of your settings get disappeared. None of your stuff is gone. All of the files and stuff you uploaded to Discord will still be there. So until next time, I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. Bye, everybody, and have a good one.